wait a little bit more. I'm just gonna give it a few minutes for people can join. I literally felt like, oh, like I was seriously on a mission right now. I was supposed to go live like at 3.33 and it's like now five. <laughs> so I'm like, so late. And it also doesn't even feel like a Friday either. But yeah, it's nice to be back and just relax. I feel like everybody in Arizona was, cause I don't know why I was craving in and out like so bad. And so I went over there to get it and everybody was there. Like literally everybody in Arizona is at in and out right now. And then I stopped at Whole Foods. Um, Brisa, did you delete your Instagram? No, I didn't delete my Instagram. My Instagram is B-R-Y-S-C-I-A underscore D-O-S-S. I know. Also, you're, you're so beautiful. I wish I had your confidence. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Thank you. Um, and then I stopped at Whole Foods because I wanted to get like this drink. I always get this drink. It's like the celery. It has celery, cucumber, parsley, and spinach. I forgot, like just a bunch of greens. So I got that and then I got like a protein little burger. Um, but yeah, I bet my burger is freaking cold now because <laughs> I ended up going to Whole Foods to get this drink and I ended up losing my freaking phone there. And shout out to everybody at Whole Foods who was like helping me find my phone. I ended up finding it. It was where I was at. Um, but yeah, um, first I guess let's just get straight into the video. You guys, oh yeah, I forgot. I didn't update you guys on the Nicki Minaj concert. So the Nicki Minaj concert was really good. I really enjoyed myself. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was really packed. And she looked, honestly, I thought she, like, I think she looks good, like, just not, like, Nicki Minaj is pretty, but in real life, like, she's stunning. Like, I was like, wow. Like, I was pretty taken back by that. But she looked really good in person. And what else? Oh, and then Tyga came out. And I swear he was for... <laughs> I swear he looked at me and I was just there like all like frozen um, but it was a good time I really enjoyed myself um, and of course I filmed it I know you guys have been asking for um, I know you guys have been asking for a um, my YouTube video like when's the next YouTube video go going to come out but I just I'm doing like I don't know I'm doing like a bunch of videos in one and I know so many other people, like other YouTubers, is like, that could have been like so many different videos, but I don't know, I'm just like that. Like, I just like how it, I don't know, as a viewer, I like watching videos like that, so I won't mind it be like that. And those take a little bit longer, but it'll pay off, you guys will like it. Is there a concert vlog coming out? In my next video for YouTube, the concert vlog is going to be a part of this, amongst with other things, but yeah. I'm gonna change this song because I don't like it. I usually am a Bryson Tiller fan, but I don't like that song. So we're gonna put Brian Fias. But let me know what you guys are doing on this Friday. My Friday is just gonna be chill, I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna edit video later. You should do a vlog when you travel from AZ to LA. Yeah. I usually like just chug this. <laughs> but anyways, um, let's just start off with like eight tips. <laughs> I ended up going to um, Whole Foods right now specifically to get this sea moss. And I'm like so excited to try it. There was this girl in line next to me who was like, talking about like when I was getting it she told me that she's tried this and she loves it and before she was like trying this other sea moss but she was just raving about sea moss and I'm like yeah I've, I heard great things about sea moss so I'm happy to like try so yeah I'll let you guys know how that goes and then this one's such a game changer the next one I'm about to show you um I swear to god like it just makes my skin just look so like I don't know I feel like it's helped with my skin and my acne like a lot and it's it's zinc but the one with copper and I love this like I wish someone told me about this a long ass time ago 
Yeah. And then I also, I want to, I want to, oh my gosh, sorry. I want to fast, like, I want to fast, like, next week, because it's, like, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's, like, Ram Ramadan month. Not that I'm, like, um, Muslim or anything. I don't know if I'm saying it right, <laughs> but, but, yeah, anyways, I just wanted to fast, and so I picked up a bunch of, like, bone broth, <laughs> because usually when I get hot, like, when I fast, I just do, like, just water only, and I usually just fast for, like, two days, but this time I want to go for three days. Um, so I picked up a bunch of bone broth because when I get hungry, I, I drink the bone broth and I put like lemon. I'm sorry. I'm like pulling you guys up so I can see the chat. Um, I did ask you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram. So I'm going to, I'm going to, um, go over that. Someone asked me, thoughts on modern monetary theory. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know what that means. So if you guys know what that means, let me know. Because I don't even know what that means. So I have no thoughts on it. Um, and then somebody asked, date etiquette, do's and don'ts, slash tips, how to leave a lasting impression. Um, that's a great, that's a really good question. Um, do's and don'ts. I'd probably be, probably, what the fuck? <laughs> sorry, this thing like just keeps flying off. I would probably say don'ts is, hold on, why does he keep doing that? I would probably say don'ts, um, like don't talk about, don't talk about your ex. I think those are like, that's like a total red flag. Like, don't do that. Don't talk about like past relationships and things like that. Um, have proper like etiquette at the table. <laughs> like don't be like burping and just being like a mess. Um, what else? Do's and don'ts. Do's and don'ts. Um, that's a hard one. I don't. I don't know. You guys answer that in the chat. <laughs> I missed your last two lives with your sister. I know it's because the quality looks shitty and I just felt like the video was just like the live was just all over the place and I didn't like it I didn't like it at all so I'm like I'm just gonna take this off sorry guys I tried to put music for you guys but I'm just gonna put the radio it's like messing up with my bluetooth where's your watch from this watch this watch was a gift somebody gifted this to me um yeah so I'm sorry I don't know but I love little dainty small watches. I just think they're like way cuter than like these big ass watches. Anyway, so usually when I do lives, like I know I'm like talking, but I feel like I do kind of keep, like I'm private and still reserved, but I feel really chatty today. I don't know if it's like the weather, it's been raining all morning. So I feel really chatty. So you guys can ask me literally anything and I'd be open to talking. I won't. I won't delete comments. <laughs> um, oh, shout out Gigi. She's watching from Laguna Hills. Oh, wow. <laughs> you guys are going in already. Are we sparking up today? No, unfortunately, we are not sparking up today. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually trying not to smoke as much. I'm taking a tolerance break. Um, just I just don't want to be so dependent on something and I don't know I feel like sometimes it gets me a little bit a little bit paranoid when I smoke like not paranoid like I'm being watched or like I just paranoid as I overthink and create things in my head that I don't know I just overthink too much I'm like I just need a break where do I norm normally shop at um there's this place on I usually just like doing online shopping. It's called Jewel. I think it's called Jewel Blex, or that's how you say it. It's J, and then I think the ending's like Blex on Instagram. They have really cute, like elegant, nice dresses. I think they're sexy too. Baby blue fashion, and then House of CB is so. I love House of CB. It's they have gorgeous dresses, and they're very fitted and they're great quality. Oh Polly, um, if you want like. 
I don't know. And the last one is nameless. That one's that one's a good one. Oh, thanks, Brian. If I'm looking down, I'm reading out the comments. Gigi Luna said, I have two sisters. I lost my mom in 2021. I'm sorry. And sisters' relationships are hard and they change and flow. I'm struggling with myself and my sister's relationship. I love them with my whole heart. Aw. But I hope, hope it gets better. Yeah, I didn't miss it. Oh, welcome, Hadassar. I don't know if I'm saying it right. My favorite word is okay. Um... Hey gorgeous, how are you able to tell if a man is just flattering you to get in the bed or is it genuine? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, I think, I know it's going to sound so cheesy, but and maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I probably am wrong. But I think it's all in the eyes. Like I feel like the eyes never lie. I feel like you could tell like how by they're looking at you. And it's a different look than lust. Like when someone's lusting over you or is infatuated with you, that's a different look. But when someone genuinely likes you, like they look at you different. Yeah. And you know what else I realized that I like? I <laughs> I like like forehead kisses. I feel like it's just so different than... Do you girls feel like that watching? Do you guys feel like forehead kisses are different from just normal kisses? Or is it just me? <laughs> Let me know. Oh. Um. Lily said, I just broke up with my man, did it for the best, but we back and better all toys. <laughs> I just broke up and did it for the best, but we back. Oh, well, congratulations, Lily. New beginnings. I bet that must feel liberating. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Hadassa. She said, you look so good, by the way. Also, I'm going through so much right now, but I'll be moving May 1st, so I'm staying strong. Yeah, shout out to anyone who's mentally, like, if you guys feel like you're mentally not doing good right now, um, let's just talk about that then. Because <laughs> I feel like I was in a funk, like, I'm always in these weird-ass funks, but I just feel like Anyways, we just shout out to anyone who's like going through anything mentally and I would suggest just taking it day by day. That's what I tell myself, like just take it day by day. I feel like I'm so hard on myself and I always say this. And I, the reason I'm so hard on myself is because I always think about the future too much. And before my problem was I would think about the past too much. And now I don't even look back. I don't even think about the past at all. But thinking about the future stresses me the fuck out and it overwhelms me because I'm so hard on myself and I stress myself out so much like about it that I learned to, I try to remind myself like stop thinking about the future and just be present and take it day by day. Like, I know it sounds cheesy, but I just had to tell myself that like a couple of days ago because I was just, I was just like not like, cause like I said, like, okay, I'll be real right now. <laughs> I, like I said last, like, on my channel, like I'm used to people like throwing a lot of hate to me, like talking shit or whatever. Um, and I'm okay, like I can handle that. Of course, that comes with the territory. But like I told you guys, like I think two lives ago, there's been people lately coming for my dreams, telling me like, it's never gonna happen, like give it up. Um, but that's what happens when you have a big, when you, sh when you share like big ideas with small minds. And a lot of people have like the poverty mentality if you guys don't know what that is, um, read the book Rich Dad Poor Dad and you'll know what I mean by that. So I had to tell myself that before, like when I was in my funk, I was just, cause naturally you kind of do think that, well, at least I think that like, is it gonna happen for me? That's me thinking about the future. Like it better happen for me. Like, and then when you already have that own little insecurity and then you have a numbers of people telling you it's never gonna happen, <laughs> give it up. like um that that could fuck with you and um i remember at that time i went to someone that i respect and care about and first of all for me to go to anybody means that i if i couldn't i couldn't handle or like gather i couldn't gather myself together myself so if i had to go to someone it means that i really need extra words right now 
And um, anyway, so I went to this person and I was telling them like, you know, I'm just feeling a little down because I'm just very hard on myself with the things I want in life. And and then I'm not seeing results. And, um, and then these people are telling me it's never gonna happen either. And, and then this fucking person, this goes to the next subject, which I actually noted it down. People who play devil, devil's advocate. I don't like people like that. And that's the enemy. And I don't want you around my corner. Like, so when I went to this person, I was like telling him, like opening up about how I feel. And like, I was just like crying because I was just too hard on myself. Like, okay. and then, and then this person was just like, well, I just hate people who are just like, well, well, do you think a part of it's true? Like, maybe it's not gonna happen. Maybe you should think, like, this is the energy this person gave me. So I got so upset that I literally cut this person off my life. Like, <laughs> like I I'm sorry, you're the enemy. Like, if you're siding with that, like, you know, I just need someone to be like, pretty much what I was looking for. I people like this, like, I I'm looking for people to be like, fuck them, like, do you you are who you are like just keep doing like just that energy you know like fuck them and they're haters like who gives a fuck like and that's the energy i was looking for and i did not get from that person so i was just like you know what i don't want people around me who play devil's advocate and it just i don't know like i just don't like it like it's just again like you guys know me nothing pisses me off more than someone who just has zero loyalty anyways let's see what you guys are talking about <laughs> yeah someone said behind the ear kisses i do not like that i don't even like my ears kiss like that's weird forehead kisses just make you feel like like i don't know like i'm just respected Oh, how to um, congratulations looking back leads to depression looking forward leads to anxiety I have to have routines to stay grounded you're so right and that's what I was doing to myself I was just giving myself freaking anxiety <laughs> sorry I'm like reading your guys comments <laughs> But I guess that's that's my message and I'll keep saying my message like I don't feel like that now like there's there's times in my life where you, everyone has like their little weak point but then you gather yourself up and you just remember who you are and then you go and you move forward and that's what I had to do is just self reflect with myself and being honest with myself like I think that's something that I've been you guys are kind of like my little diary <laughs> someone said that one time on my chat and I thought about it, I thought about that. I'm like, that's so true. Like, I always tell you guys my my inner thoughts, my my little secrets, and and then I just log off and I go back to life, and <laughs> it's like I just feel like I just dropped so much on the internet, and then I'm just like, go back to my life. And but I was like writing that, like when I was like journaling, I was like writing just pretty much just to be honest with myself, like the good and the bad. You should keep things to yourself. I know I should. <laughs> All greats have been told they couldn't do it, but you have to be able to pivot. I know it's true. Like, I know this. Like, I know all of this. It's just sometimes, like, I just, again, I'm just so hard on myself. And this is just, like, for anyone who has a dream, whether whatever age you are, it's never too late. Like I said, Vera Wang wasn't Vera Wang, so she was, like, freaking 40 and and so on you know so many other people didn't make their big break until they're like their late age or whatever so it's never too late to start like on your dreams or anything and i just appreciate like i don't know something that pisses me off so much is like people who talk shit about people who are dreamers like i'm so protective over my fellow dreamers like anyone who wants to be a musician like an actress or whatever like 
I just like I don't know just keep following your dreams like you're a doer you're not on the sidelines watching talking shit like you're actually doing it like and and I was reading this book one time that says even if like all that like all that's building character like the self-discipline to being consistent to being told no and, and to keep trying and like all that will eventually even build good character so yeah <laughs> How do you deal with irritability with people surrounding you? I hate feeling, but sometimes I feel like I can't help it. No, I feel like I'm like that too. Like in real life, I feel like I just feel like I get like, I don't know. I get irritated by the littlest things by like people. How do I deal with it? I, I usually try to remove myself from it or I try to stay quiet because I don't want to be mean. <laughs> Cole, you're so right. The background reminds me of when you started YouTube and Hotbox. This is the exact background. And that's why, that's why, cause it's like, remember when I used to be in, like whenever you guys see me in the car, like you guys know I'm about to like be honest and, and like really talk and let you in. So this, I'm like, I haven't really done that in a while. Like I'm like, I haven't really, really been opening up I feel. At least that's how I feel. But yeah, this is the spot where I. St this is the spot where I've, I've always been at when I first started doing YouTube. Shout out to you for remembering that, Melissa. <laughs> Someone's like, you need to shake your drink. I don't want it to like spill. That's why. So whatever. People closest to you will have doubts, but I think it's because they think you are protecting, shielding you from the possibility of failure to have you avoid it, but it kills dreams. I don't agree, but even so, like, I just don't like that. Like, at least when, like, I'm on my deathbed, I won't be able to say, like, I went after my dreams and, you know, I, I wouldn't have to wonder what, what would that have been like um, and, and then be better when I'm older and be on a what if like so as I just I'm living life like like truly like my tr like I remember someone asking this question I can't remember now but I, I think it was a question along the lines like are you living a life that you truly like you're going after you're doing what you love like I don't know I don't know sorry I forgot the question like that person asked me the other day I guess my point is, is I'm living life truly and honestly as to what I want and what I'm doing. I feel like a lot of people are at jobs they don't like, are are in a lot of things and situations that they don't like and they just sit there and, and, and then I can't relate to that. Uh, shout out to you, Hadassah. Hada are you new? Have you been watching me for a while? <laughs> I haven't seen your name before. Did your license get suspended from driving all these guys crazy? That's funny. I don't drive anyone crazy. Um, what is your definition of success? It looks different for everyone. Um, I will never say it out loud. <laughs> I just have it in my head. I don't want to say it out loud because I just feel like It'll be bad luck and people will manifest ill on it like but i but i also think like you can't compare it like i think my problem is is like you'll see other people like on social medias and i just feel like their topics aren't good they don't look good like and you just see results and you're just like sometimes i just feel like i don't know but then I, at that point like you just can't compare like you can't compare where you're at like everyone's timing's different you know Um, you're preparing for the film of your life hypothetically which actress would you have play you which actress that's a great question which actress would i have play me oh i know the girl from um oh my god the girl who plays on um, wonder woman i can't believe gal gal Gadot. 
I think that's her name, Gal Gaudet. Yeah. What's a quote motto do you, do you live by? I say it all the time and I swear I live I live by it a little too much, but it's um uh say what you want. Wait, do we want to say how you feel because those that those that mind wait. <laughs> I feel like I always get it mixed up. Say what you want, do how you feel because those that matter don't mind or those that yeah, those that matter don't mind and those who mind don't matter. So, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Um, Cherry, yes, the answer to that is yes. That's fair, respect, girl. How would you define your style now that you're 29? Um, how would I describe my style? That's funny, I've been getting a lot of that. A lot of the, that's the question I've been getting a lot lately. Um, how would I describe my style? I don't even know. I don't even know. I just like long, I like long, tight dresses. I'm very much a dress girl. Like, I love wearing dresses. I don't really like wearing jeans, but, um, I wouldn't say like, I guess like a mixture of like old Hollywood. No, actually, maybe not. I don't even know what my style is. It's a vibe of my own. That's all I know. Sometimes, like, I don't know. Never mind. I love your vibe and realness. Thank you, Cynthia. You're from Arizona? <laughs> but anyways, enough about me. How have you guys been? How has your week been? Um, what are you guys doing on this Friday night? I'm going to I'm going to go to a jazz. I'm going dancing tomorrow pretty much. It's like a jazz band. So I'm like super excited for that because I love jazz and I haven't been dancing in a long time. First of all, I hope people are dancing, but if not, it's still okay. Like I I might dance, but that's it's at this place called Paul Paula. I think I'm saying it right. It's in downtown Phoenix and they have jazz nights on Friday and Saturday. But yeah. Let's see what else you guys are saying. I think people are confused because you are extremely graceful and dress sexy, so it's just bomb. You think so? Thank you. <laughs> That's really nice. Everyone was so nice today. Like I went to Whole Foods, everyone was so nice. There was this girl who was like chatting up with me and she was the one I was talking about CMOS. We ended up getting each other's number and I never do that with anybody. So yeah. <laughs> Melissa, are you from Arizona? I never seen women dress like you here in AZ, so you're definitely unique. Yeah, I don't ever see women dress like me at all. Like, well, actually, never mind. I think that's why I like LA because when you go to LA, there's so much like, there's just style. Everyone just looks like, I don't know, they just look so cool out there. Like, they're just very stylish out there. And yeah. <laughs> oh, good for you, Chloe. Hopefully you like your new job. Uh, how do you afford to fly back and forth to LA? McKenna asked. Um, sometimes I drive and um, and then, or sometimes I'll fly. Or when I used to go there and I was like in a relationship, I would just have like that person pay. <laughs> but now I like to, but now I usually drive because I like having my car out there. I'm from Oregon, shout out Oregon. Would you ever meet up with your subscribers if you have? Um, um, I would only meet up with subscribers if I had like 200, no, if I had like 300K subscribers one day, then I'll meet up, then I'll have a meet and greet and it would for sure be in Los Angeles. Um, no, actually it'd be in Los Angeles or Texas. Texas, I mean, LA cause it's more my vibe but Texas because a lot of people throughout the years have been supporting me from Texas and so naturally I'm just like I want to go to Texas for my meet and greet because they've been so loyal and real 
Um, but yeah, they love you in the South. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. I would love to go to the South. I love South, like, women from the South that are rappers. Like, their, their rap is just, it's just so different. Like, like I believe them when whatever they're rapping about. <laughs> One of your videos from four years ago popped up and I was watching it from when you and your sister were in LA. You guys were so cute and tiny babies. You've grown into beautiful women. Aw, thank you. Um, Lokita, <laughs> that's funny. Yes, I am still doing my classes. Um, but yeah, let's go into what else I wrote down. Um, I also just been thinking about like just stepping just knowing your own power like i was watching this video on youtube about this scared of it and i would just thought that was so cute because it's like oh this big ass pit bull doesn't even know its power and then it reminded me of me <laughs> and i just feel like i'm stepping into my shoes and i need like just knowing my power if that makes sense Um, any weekend plans? Um, I don't know. I, I don't even, I usually take it day by day. <laughs> Things just pop up naturally. So as of tomorrow, I'm just, just like running errands in the morning. And then at night, I'm just going to like the jazz show. What do you like in a man when you first see them or talk to them, their personality or their looks? So first of all, I'm not a, I haven't been a looks person, um, if you guys know, I've seen my exes before, um, but let's see, let me, what do, let me look at the question again. What do you like in a man when you first see them or talk to them? What I pay attention to the most is, is mannerisms, mannerisms, how they, how they conduct themselves, how they just just manners like 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 I don't know like just manners just a gentleman like that's what I'm paying attention for like how do you treat me like are you gentle with me like just a gentleman because I'm just very big on manners it, t it tells me a lot about how someone was raised if they were brought up right um etc etc Do you have any early life experiences that really shaped you into who you are today that really st that really stuck? Do you have any early life experiences? Yeah, I mean, I would probably say when I was on my own at 15 years old, um, that was definitely a life experience that, that shaped me into who I am today. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so I was on my own, so I, I didn't, Cause around that time like my mom like i don't know if i ever shared this but when i was 15 like me and my sister like we're living in buckeye arizona and then my mom ended up like they ended up taking her to jail because she didn't have her papers at the time and um this like happened like right in front of our house <laughs> and they took her and then nobody like me and then me and my sister were just 15 in the house by ourselves and we we're like we we're like we don't know who's gonna pay these bills like we don't know no one was there to tell us anything so my cousin was like, do you want to come to LA with us or with me for a weekend? We ended up taking a backpack and we just ended up staying there for like five to six years. And I don't know what happened to any of our stuff in the house. I really, I just had to let go of everything that was in the house and the school I went to. So I was officially like on my own at 15. Didn't know where I was going to be at, where I was going to like live. I was so scared and I was so young and and I was 15 in LA and in South Central LA at that. And at first I didn't, I knew nothing about what South Central was. And I found out real quick what, <laughs> what it was. And then, and um, I wasn't able to go to school because I didn't have parents to sign me up, me or my sister. I tried to get emancipated. Uh, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> when, when you're on your own legally, but I couldn't because they were just, they weren't helpful. And I was trying to let them know, like, my mom's not here. I don't know my dad. And they're like, well, we need a parent to sign off. And I was just like, so annoyed. So as soon as I turned 18, I got my diploma. And then in order for me to get a job, cause I was so young in LA, 
um, when I was 15, I went to Beverly Hills and I was just, I literally was just telling people my situation. I was just like, I need a job. <laughs> and there was this really nice Italian man at, um, at this restaurant. He was a manager and he was, he went right away. He just like, was like, yes, like, of course. Like he, he felt like so bad, I feel. <laughs> so I worked there and all those, that whole experience really shaped me a lot. I feel like that really gave me wisdom. Like if I had a spoon fed life, I would not have wisdom or anything to share. I probably wouldn't even be doing YouTube right now. It's because of what I went through is why I'm, I feel like I'm able to share so much experiences like, or share my inner thoughts or like wisdom. Like what's my IG? It's Bricia, someone said. It's Bricia, B-R-Y-S-C-I-A underscore D-O-S-S. Um, do you think your egg cleanse helped you with your childhood trauma? No. <laughs> my childhood trauma. Do you think your egg... No, it didn't help with my childhood trauma. What helped with my childhood trauma is is I saw a shaman in Sedona one time. No, just in general, my life experiences, the shaman helped me and then me getting baptized. Honestly, those two things helped me. <laughs> Someone said I left to move to LA. I was out there in a Malibu with a friend of mine. Of mine. She works close by the beach. I want to do something like that, but never have. I love Malibu Beach. What do you do when others try to bring you down or be funny with it, always indirect? Thank you, that literally was, Myra, I freaking love you. That was literally my next topic, but I wrote it down. I don't know, I think that's called like when people are passive aggressive, when they'll throw little snod comments, like, like just little snod comments that are really like about you, but they're, but they're not really being direct with you, but you know it's about you. So I love that because I, that's what I mean. Like, I feel like a lot of people do that with me, you know, sometimes my own people. And and that's what I mean. Like, I feel like I'm done with that. I'm done with the like little snod comments, the little sneak shade, the little siding with my enemy whenever I'm coming to someone with concern about something like, so I just decided like, I'm, I'm in a mood to like cut people off if they're like, gonna be coming to me with negative stuff about what people have said about me it's different if someone's like hey girl like someone posted this about you, you should check it out that I appreciate because I like to know what's out there but when someone's like kind of hee hee ha ha energy and this is what they said about you like I will cuss you out like I was like and then and yeah so so I will not deal with that anymore and so if anyone around me from now on is ever being like um throwing little snod comments and like I'm trying to be cute with it like i'm definitely gonna hold them accountable and let them know like we are grown like you know what you're doing and like i, I don't know i'm just i'll just be direct like is there an issue <laughs> what am i drinking it's um celery juice i literally drink this like almost every day and i drink it with like a side of like a turmeric shot that has prambrica in it do you guys ever feel lightheaded when you guys drink a turmeric shot? Uh, how do you get over things good or bad in the past and everything? That's a great question. How do I get over things in the past? Um, because I don't know, what's done is done. I can't change the past. The only thing I can change is my attitude. I can just change my attitude and what I think now. Like, I don't, like it's happened. Like. And I worked a lot on healing. Like I said, I went to see a shaman. I went to church. I got baptized. Like, and shrooms. And yeah, so a lot of those things really opened me up and helped me see things from a different lens, a different perspective. But yeah. I don't even want my protein burger anymore. It's just like cold. <laughs> what are we listening to? But anyways, what are you guys doing Friday? 
today, tonight. Where are you guys watching me from? Yeah, fly me to the moon. Someone said you got to do the work. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people like, I have a word for it. Like I like to call it like self abandon their spirit. Like they don't just, they don't just work on themselves. They don't reflect on themselves. They don't try to heal their their inner child, their their traumas, um, et cetera, et cetera. Like they're just living through life, going to work and doing that routine every day, but they're not really stopping to like really check on themselves. Just self abandonment. <laughs> um, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like a lot of people are alive, but they're not really living. Like they're like on autopilot. Watching from San Sacramento. What do you mean? Someone said, do you see signs because of your faith? What do you mean by that? I really want to see you act, Bricia. Oh, one day you will. I know it's so funny because people are people think because you're an actor they're just like oh act out a scene right now like just do it and it's like no that's like not how it works i'm not gonna do that <laughs> but one day i promise you we'll see do you think technology has ruined social social connection like do you think it's authentic i don't like technology i don't like ai i don't like any of that i know i do youtube and all that but I would be really happy if they just shut off all social medias. I think the more we are advanced with AI technology, like the more we stray away from um, who we are as humans, like hum like humanity. Um, I think we should be walking outside and have our feet touch the ground. That those are our senses. Like, you know, just like when you eat, when you eat with a fork, try eating with a fork and then next time you eat, just eat with your hands. And the feeling of it is so different, like the senses, like just touching. And the whole eating experience is just different. And like, I don't know. That, do you know what I mean though? Like walking, having your feet touch the ground, you know, walking outside, having sun hit your face. Like, uh, I just really, I don't like AI. And now I understand what Albert Einstein said, where he said that he fears the day where humans get in touch with technology or something like that. And I feel like we're living through those times. Like you go to a table and another thing that I think is so disrespectful and I don't like, I don't like this at all, is if I'm at a table with you and we're having dinner, I do not want you on your phone. Like we're at dinner and that's what technology has done. Like we'll be at dinner and like everyone's on their phone. And that's why I feel like a lot of the younger generation, like Gen Z, they don't really know how to talk or communicate because they're always on their fucking phone. Like they don't know how to interact with like humans. Like, um, so yeah, I don't like uh, technology and all that stuff. I heard that recently they were thinking about banning or like removing TikTok from the US and a lot of people were talking shit. Like, why would they do that? And like, honestly, I'm so, I've, I'm like, finally, like I'm, I'm proud, <laughs> like way to go. Like, I just think that, you know, you, you have a, even though I'm like, I don't know, like, I just, I don't know, I was like society, like we're just so like, I can see how people from the other countries just look at us like we're not as smart. Like we're over here doing little TikTok dances and doing weird stuff on the internet where when there's real stuff going on behind closed doors, we're actually saying behind closed doors, it's like in our faces now, but but we don't care, we're still doing TikTok dances. Like, um, I just feel like there's bigger fish to fry and we're worried, the priorities are the wrong thing like so uh that's my answer so i do not like ai any of that stuff they're trying like i said last time they're trying to the strike they're trying to replace um ai for actors like they want actors they want to pay actors one day of work and then have their rights to their face and it's like no like i don't like it at all Thank you, Hadassa. You're so sweet. Thank you, California 818. Uh, watching from LA. Shout out LA. <laughs> That's so funny. 
um, if you want to get into acting, I suggest adding breath work and spiritual. Yeah, I mean, that's, I, I already know that. Like, that's one thing that acting has taught me is the importance of breath work and, um, and, and taking walks and like being actual spirit, like spiritual, which I was surprised because I didn't know that the little details that go into that and ma mainly breath work. Breath work is so important. So I do that now. Even before I started this video, I did breath work because before I started seeing or anything like I noticed like you almost want to say the line so fast just because you just want to remember it so I have to breathe first relax myself that way when I'm ready to talk and present my my scene like I'm like I'm not saying it super fast great answer because I hate technology Please save this live. I will save this live. <laughs> um, there's a deeper connection when eating finger foods. There is. There really is. Um, but yeah. Would you consider theater as you go after acting? Of course. Sorry, my phone like. It's not gonna die, don't worry. I just got an alert. So is that what I do theater? I really do want to be in a theater. I do want to be in a theater show. Like I like play like I, but I, right now I'm going back and forth like LA and Arizona. So I would need to be in Arizona. I mean, in LA to like go to the rehearsals and, and all that, but definitely. Yeah, for sure. Would you guys come and watch me? I know I wouldn't have, first of all, I have thought about that, but when I do my first theater, I don't think I would invite my family or friends because I'd be so nervous because it'd be my first time performing <laughs> in front of people. So naturally, I know myself, I wouldn't invite anybody, but the second time, I would invite everybody. So I would invite you guys too when it happens. yeah like the um every, everyone who's watching this like the chat give it a thumbs up tell your friends would you visit thailand of course i love thai food i love thai food so much of course i would visit thailand i'd be eating everything could you talk about your opinion on the situation in gaza or you're not allowed to um well i i kind of already said my opinion I've said it many times. Thoughts on self-reflection. I love to journal and it's helped me a lot. Um, thoughts on self-reflection. Well, as for me, when I was just thinking about myself, I was just thinking about like, I was learning, I learned that, I said this last time, I'm too controlling. And then I'd look, I'd look, try to go deeper. Like, why are you so controlling? <laughs> like, why do you try to control the situation and everything? Um, and also that I create things in my head and really believe it. Like, and no one can tell me something. No one can so tell me different. And along with a lot of other things, but I'm not going to name it. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, you're 28. Oh, thanks, Hadassa. Thanks for sharing. Costa Rica? That would be fun. I don't know. I would like to go to... I, would, I still would just want to go to Mexico City. I want to go to Mexico City so bad and just be on the beach, like, with my ass out, like, just tanning in a drink. They say when you turn 29, you start towards Saturn return. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Sorry. <laughs> Shout out to whoever's hard in the live right now. I really appreciate it. Let's see. What else do people ask? Oh, I think this girl, I remember this question. 
I think it was you, Myra. Are you in the chat? This girl, like, she was like, sorry, there's like something going on, but she was like telling me if you're dating somebody and then you found out they, 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 um, like they, I don't know what it's called when they like praise the, I don't know, if you're like a Hispanic in the chat, let me know what this is called. You know when they put like the cape over you and it looks like the Grim Reaper, but people actually praise them and put candles around that. What is that called? Pretty much this girl asked me that if I found out someone I was dating, like praise that, like what would I do? I would immediately, I would immediately freaking run. Like, absolutely not. Like that's diabolical as fuck. <laughs> I would not like that at all. I would think if anything goes wrong, this person's gonna fucking do witchcraft on me. <laughs> Someone said, this is a great question. I keep saying that to every question. <laughs> what would you do if you hit the lottery? If I hit the lottery, I would show up anonymous to collect my winnings. I heard in LA that you have to show who you are, which is kind of dangerous. But in Arizona, you don't. But the first thing I would do is, oh my gosh, I would buy a house in LA by the beach. And then I would invest it in real estate. Yeah, I would invest it in real estate. Yeah, like hotels. I would like to own like, have partner ownership of like a hotel, like hotels or something. And then I would travel to Tokyo. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to Tokyo. Oh, hey, Myra, you are in the chat. Sorry, I was talking about you. She put, oh yeah, it was me, Santa Muerte. I give him ch a choice, choose Santa Muerte or God. <laughs> he chose God. I would have really like, I would have dug deeper. Like, why? Like, why? Like, what made you get into this? Like, what are your beliefs? Like, and when you praise this person, this Santa Muerte or whatever the fuck, like, what are your thoughts when you're doing this? Like, what led you this way? Like, I don't know, he needs to get baptized, like. But that's good that he chose, you know. How have you dealt with a rough breakup, built up anger going through this right now? Oh my gosh, that was like me like a while ago. <laughs> How would you deal with a rough breakup built up anger? Um, rough breakup built up anger. I went to the, okay, if I'm being honest, I just went to the gym. I went to the gym a lot. I did things that were out of my comfort zone. Like go places I usually wouldn't go to. Like, um, I just, I just, I guess to answer that, I just really kept busy. How do you deal with a rough breakup, built up anger? Honestly, the only thing I can answer is like the gym. The gym like released all my anger. And I know it sounds cheesy, but like church too. Like every time I'm there, I feel like less freaking psycho <laughs> less angry is what i'm saying like i feel more calm i notice that like sometimes i'll just feel so angry and then i'll go to church and i'll leave and i feel more like calm like more more peaceful <laughs> um and if you and if you're not really religious that's fine i would probably suggest meditating meditating like in the mornings i've been trying to do that I haven't meditated in a long time. In this past like two weeks, I've been like meditating in the morning. And do you guys ever feel like when you meditate for so long, when you're done meditating, you just feel like super dizzy? Would you invest in your acting career and expand? Of course. 
Um, do you believe in second chances? Of course I do. I do believe in second chances. Like, yeah, I do. That's just like who I am. Like when I love someone, like I will keep trying to work it out with you so many times. Like I don't give up on people I love. And I just also think like that's a loyalty in me where I'm like, if I said I love you, I love you for anything. I'm not just gonna leave when things get tough or when we are, we are not okay or when we don't see eye to eye. And I feel like a lot of people do that. Like they just break up with people and then it's a cycle and they're gonna be doing that to the next and the next. Like, um, the only thing for me is that I would just leave if, so, if there's like infidelity, immediately I would turn my back. Um, but other than that, I would definitely try to like work it out. Unless this person's like really like mean to you, then no, I don't. But I do believe in second chances, 100%. Um, someone said, Leslie said, I had an old best friend who believed and praised La Santa Muerte, and when we fell off, she told me she was going to put a spell on me. What <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. There's people out there like that. Like, there's, it's crazy. Like, there's people out there that will put some stuff on you just because, like, they don't like you and, like, they just envy you. Like, that's why I would never want to associate with myself around. It's because I have my own personal story, not for me, but some, somebody, I feel like somebody who praised that did something to someone I loved. And like, I really believe in stuff like that. I really, really do because of this person. <laughs> like, and that's why, like, I also, every time I pray, I go to church, like, I always ask, like, for protection, like, from any evil that may be around me or with me or wished on me to, for me to be protected, like, you know, there's crazies out here. <laughs> Leslie, you're funny. Yeah, making sure that person understands your contract with them individually, not, not with their sister. What? Sorry. Mm. For friendships though, no, I don't really like getting, I don't, I don't give second chances for friendships, but for family and someone I love, like if it was my boyfriend or something, yes, I would. Friends, no. What was your recent ex best qualities? If you don't mind me asking, because I feel like you're very hard to impress. You think so? Um, um, hold on. What was your ex recent ex best qualities? I don't want to talk about that because I think that would just be, I don't know. I don't wanna get, like, I just don't wanna talk about it. Like, first of all, I don't like, there's so many people that I don't think that watch me that do watch me. So like, I don't wanna say anything because it always gets back to me. So, um, I like someone who's a dreamer, who has a dream. I like, I liked that someone who wants to keep growing their mind and always wants to learn and, do, and learn more <laughs> that's a hard question that's a great question but let's skip that question <laughs> but i don't i guess i am a little hard to impress sometimes a goal-oriented man um that wasn't that person but i would say like this i like that they were going after like they were pursuing their dreams i genuinely did like that um uh, that's all i was saying Why do you think they're fighting Islam so much? People of God in Gaza, Andrew Tate. Um, 
I don't like to talk out of my ass. Like, I don't like to talk about things that, like, I have no, like, I don't really know much about what's going on out there. The only thing I know is that they don't fuck with each other and they're, like, hurting each other and bombing each other and, like, innocent people are dying. So I don't care, like, who started what first or what's the history. I just think it's fucked up and it's, it's more than fucked up. It's evil. There's innocent people dying, babies, kids, like, and it's just, it's very heartbreaking. And, 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 um, I don't know, sometimes it just gets so deep because I was, I bet, sometimes like I've been reading the Bible because like, I don't know, like, <laughs> I'm just naturally a curious person. And it's just sad that like, I guess like a bunch of where all this is happening was a lot of places that were in the Bible. And I think that I believe there is a God and I'm pretty sure he's looking down very fucking angry. <laughs> um, so I just, I think it's, I think it's just, it's horrible. I don't want to talk much, that's all I have to say. I don't know what else to say because I need to do my research on that. But, uh, so, so I'm put, what are your thoughts on sisters being toxic? I cut my sister off. She was one of the most toxic, manipulative people in my life. Oh my God. Um, thoughts on sisters being toxic. Um, I personally like I I would remove myself from anyone who's interrupting my peace like like I said a lot of people have not try to heal themselves like when you're healed you don't want to be around unhealed people naturally so I'm just at that phase in life where or that point in life where I don't anything that disrupts my peace I will remove it it shouldn't be like that and it could be that simple like sometimes I feel like I used to stress myself out so much where I'm like oh if I just cut this person off and get rid of this like it's like, why do I even have them here? Like, I don't know. Pretty much like any, er, anything that enters my love, my life, I want it to be loving, nice, kind, gentle. Be gentle with me. I love when somebody is gentle with me. Like when someone talks to me and they're just gentle. I just love that. Like, but Leslie, I, oh, I hope things get better. politics <laughs> don't even get me started guys i will literally lose followers over my politics like i have so much to say about that do you think we will ever get someone who's not a republican or democrat in the office um uh, i don't i don't know i don't think so that's just my opinion But yeah, I'm kind of curious of like what's going to happen. Like I, I've been saying this, I'm curious of what's going to happen before the election comes. Um, like I said, I just think, I don't know. I already said it last time. I feel like they're just going to throw Michelle Obama in there and then people are going to vote for her. But I think, I don't know. I don't want to be negative, but hopefully nothing happens before then, but. Hopefully they don't come out, come out with a whole nother round of C-13 or whatever. Because I feel like if they do that, people will not listen this time around. What the hell are we listening to? How long have we been on this live? I pray for the day they legalize weed in Texas. It's not legalized in Texas. What drink am I drinking? It's just... It's celery juice, cucumber, parsley, spinach, and a green apple. But yeah. Um, I was I was on the internet today and I saw this this um, video of Kanye West that I could totally relate to. Oh my god, I just thought of something else right now. Wait, hold on, let's, I'll say that after. Cause I didn't want to talk about it, but I was just like, oh, whatever, I'll talk about it. Cause maybe other people can relate. But I was I was watching this video on Kanye cause he just did an interview and they've been asking him questions. And he said something that was so relatable and I'm glad that he said that because he, he just said that he was like, 
having this problem with like I know it sounds like stupid but having this problem with God because he he feels like he's prayed about things and he hasn't seen anything so he's having this issue and I think that was with sorry and I think that was like my anger not think I know that was with my anger and I know it's so silly and it may sound silly but I don't know like I just I just feel like there's so many things that I've prayed and I put in the work and I've act, I'm not just waiting for it to come on my lap like I'm putting in the work but I'm just not seeing things and and then I get so angry and then I like start to cry and then there was just like this moment last week where <laughs> I was just like I just like I felt so bad because I got so mad like I just cursed at my god I was cursing and, and I was so angry and I was like I'm so done I'm turning my back on this like and and then the next morning I felt so awful for even having those thoughts in my head and cursing <laughs> like I was just frustrated and I don't know if, if you guys ever feel like that or like I don't know maybe you don't but it was anyways it was so interesting to hear from somebody else feel like that and it was Kanye <laughs> like so but I trust me I don't think like that anymore and I and I remember like I was thinking that and I was just like well it reminds me of this um this movie I saw with Jonah Hill, I told you guys about it, where he's filming himself. He directed it, and he's um, it's Jonah Hill and his therapist, and they're talking about this, like how we have this thing in our mind where it's called the shadow, where, and the shadow is like the enemy. It'll, t it'll convince you, like, you're not going to be this. It's not going to happen. Um, I just felt like the enemy was really doing its job last week on my head, like, <laughs> if that makes sense, like. But yeah, I just wanted to share that. So after that, I, I, I felt so bad. I, I started saying my sorries. <laughs> like, I'm sorry I got mad. Oh, where is my, where is your scar from? This scar? I got shanked when I was like 13 in LA. My brother's dad are so toxic. If I have to keep my brothers up until we move, my son doesn't bond with them because of... Oh, wow. Well, good for you, Hadassah. Hada um, someone put, God's timing is golden and our human experience makes us forget that. It's okay, love. Fortunately, God understands. I know, that's what I told myself. Like, it's his timing. And then I got so mad at somebody. <laughs> Because I was telling them again, it was the same person I was talking to about the fucking haters. And this, this is when I was like, I'm fucking done with your ass. Like, I was telling them about how I feel, about my beliefs. And that's so important to me. Like, my beliefs are so important. I understand no one, if no one wants to believe in God, that's fine. But it was so important to me. So I was, I felt bad because I was thinking like that. And, and then their response was like, well, you have to do things out of your heart and not because you expect something back and it's like shut the fuck like you think i didn't know that like and i'm not like that that's not who i am like if a guy offered to fly fly you out would you go laughing my ass off asking for a friend i have done that before i even vlogged the whole experience for you guys on youtube and sometimes i can't believe i still did that and let me tell you something that date was horrible like i think about it now i'm like why did i go um, I would only go if you're like FaceTime this guy like actually talking like you actually you guys have been talking But don't just go if it's just some random guy flying you out because that's a big old risk. Don't do that Why did I delete my last live because I felt like it was all over the place the quality was shitty and There was no like There was no like direct topic like there was just like one topic the whole time and it was like so annoying so I didn't want to <laughs> Uh, when you know God is never late, you wait differently. I love this quote. That's cute. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, totally, I'm totally joking. I did not get shanked in LA. I totally forgot. I thought I, I forgot I said that. Um, no, I did not get shanked in LA. I usually just tell people that because it's like a funny joke. Maybe it's not funny, but I shouldn't have said that. I didn't get shanked in LA. My scar came from, um, I was around eight years old and I was swinging on a swing and then I fell 
and then I fell like on my belly but there was like broken bottle glasses on the floor and I guess there was one that was sticking out and it, it went straight through me but I guess it went in so fast that I didn't even bleed or nothing but later on that day there was like a big old ball on my chest and they took me to the hospital and the glass had went in and affected my lungs so they had to like put a tube in here and like clean out my my lungs um so that's what happened so ever since then i have this scar um uh, i used to be so insecure about it i used to cover it with my hair when i was younger until one day shout out steven i, I tell this story all the time <laughs> steven my first boyfriend was just like he saw it when they my my hair was blowing and i was like so insecure i tried to cover it and he's like what is that and then he was like he looked at me he's like brisa you're so beautiful that's a part of you embrace it and i was like oh so ever since then i just embraced it <laughs> that's funny no that wasn't true though i didn't even shake it's funny as fuck anyways next subject so i almost forgot i've been literally telling everybody about this film i don't know if i guess if i told you guys last time while i was on live but anyways if you guys have nothing to do today on this friday night go watch poor things it's with emma stone she's like my new favorite actress right now um did i tell you guys about this movie i feel like i've been telling everybody about it i like love this movie i think it's so good and this it's it's so well written. I just feel like I love films that are unpredictable. It's a story that I've never heard in another movie. Um, it's pretty much about this girl who she tries to commit suicide and she dies. Or she tries to commit suicide, she jumps off a bridge, but her body's not fully dead yet. And the scientist comes across her body, takes her, and then he finds out she's pregnant. So he puts the baby's brain in her brain. And then when she wakes up, like, she's just like, you know, she's pretty, she's attractive, but she's like a, a grown woman, but her mind is the mind of a little girl, like of a kid, pretty much, like a baby. So she's like growing and he's doing this as an experiment. And then he lets her go and like wander off with some guy. And then some crazy shit starts happening. And it's just, it's really good. I really like it. I was like captivated from beginning to end. So I highly recommend it if you guys um, have nothing to do. I think it's at the movie theaters when my sister gave me this app where like it's like this little bootleg app <laughs> but i watch it on there at home but you guys should definitely watch it i really like it did she win an oscar i think she did i'm pretty sure she did but yeah Jeez, I really feel like I let a lot a lot out today. That was nice. Um, I think I'm gonna head out soon. I don't, I'm, uh, I'm still like looking at this. I got a boot like app, I'm gonna check it out. That's funny as fuck. This is literally what I got. I always get the protein burger. Um, I don't like the sauce, the animal style sauce, sauce on it. I'm still getting it. <laughs> I'm watching Imaginary tonight. Where is that at? What platform is that on? Let me know. I want to watch a movie right now. It's raining outside. I want to chill and watch a movie and just get some comfy clothes. Anyways, I'm going to head out right now. I've been in like, this freaking car forever. Mm. Um, but yeah, what app? I want to see it. I'll try to put, I'll ask my sister what the app's called that she gave me. Just like a lot of weird stuff pops up, like sexual stuff. So just like, just keep exiting out a couple times. And then once the movie starts, you won't see that anymore. I'm not in LA right now. I'm in Arizona. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'll end this live by saying thank you guys for watching me and supporting rubies i love you and you guys are just always been real ones i really do enjoy like sitting here talking to you guys and expressing myself like i love expressing myself and i love how you guys always give feedback on the topics and also like letting me know your guys's opinion because i get an insight of what other people think and 
everyone in the chat today has been super positive and good vibes so like i really appreciate that um but yeah but anyway so the other people who have felt like me or could relate to anything that i said in this chat uh, i want to let you know to keep pursuing your dreams and follow them and don't give fuck what anyone has to say just keeping you and step into the shoes up to who you are and yeah it's raining in la of course it is um no worries girl i ain't talking to no girls but i do watch youtube oh i love your content never stop being yourself thank you so much i really appreciate that uh watch american crime love you see you you free because my phone's about to die anyways this shit dies so fast you're gonna be on the side of the internet i'm taking your advice but anyways i love you guys and to my fellow dreamers keep pursuing your dreams and i'm gonna keep saying that every video now but yeah i love you guys and make sure to like comment and subscribe and thank you so much for watching bye